I'm not going to use much imagery. I just want you to listen to what I'm saying and see if it makes sense to you. Now, we're told that the Africans were stolen or bought from other Africans, brought to the New World, forced to work and treated like crap, right? But you have to ask yourself, how did they pick up the language of the oppressor so fast? Right? Because they're, they're being worked to death. They're being worked to death. This is what we're told. They're, they're constantly working. When do they have time to learn the language of the oppressor? Now, I know for a fact that in uh, Montreal, Quebec, there are Indians from India that are coming to Montreal. They are actually going to jobs that are English, warehouses or factories, English jobs. Now, if they wanna learn French, they have to go to French school. They have to go to French school. But if they're around English speaking um, workers all the time, then they're not gonna learn the language. They're just not, it's gonna be very difficult for them. So they have to immerse themselves in language and that's by going to school. So when did the slaves have time to learn the language of their oppressor? And I'm saying to you that if you understand history, there were so-called black people in Europe way before the slave trade, way, way, way before the slave trade. So there were so-called black people in Italy, in France, in Spain, in Portugal, in Germany, in Poland, in various places, uh, Scotland, England, Ireland. There are so-called black people around the entire globe. Like scientists will tell you that Africans left Africa like tens of thousands or even more, even more years ago. So obviously so-called black people were around the entire world. But they make it seem that, no, 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 the only reason why Africans or so-called black people are anywhere around the world is because of the slave trade. That's when they took Africans out of Africa and they went to various places around the world. It's like, no, 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 no. That happened way before. And then they're gonna tell us that they're inferior, they're uncivilized, they have no significant history to speak of, but yet, so they take these, inf and first of all, you're taking inferior people that you don't like to work for you. Like, who does that? Who does that? It doesn't make any sense. So civilized Caucasians, praise Jesus, come out of Europe, they go to Africa, they pick up the Africans, either steal them or buy them for other Africans, go to the new world, force them to work and treat them like crap. And they're working like crazy. When did they have time to learn about the Bible? And when did they have time to learn about their language? Now the Africans do have a history. They tell stories about their history. So they knew about God. They knew about Jesus already. They knew about the Bible already. They knew this information already. They didn't bring them, they didn't bring any kind of new information to the um to the Africans except, you know, heartache and hardship. That's what they and, and devastation. That's what the Europeans brought to the uh, Africans. Praise Jesus. Now, the reason why the so-called black people left Europe is because they accused us, I did a video on this, they accused us of the bubonic plague. The bubonic plague was obviously horrible. They accused us of it. And then they started attacking and slaughtering us all throughout Europe. So when they did that, they got a lot of our wealth. They got a lot of our property. They got a lot of our information. And then they created their new world order, which was the Protestant Reformation, right? So we had to escape these people. We were escaping these people. So we went, some of us went back to Africa. You know, we went to the Caribbean islands. We went to uh, the Americas and they followed us. They followed us. And yes, I'm sure some of them went to Africa and got Africans and then also pillaged Africa and caused problems for the Africans. And, and then they, um, yeah, then they did what they did. We know what they did. Right? And they're saying that, oh, the Africans have no significant history to speak of, we're inferior, we're uncivilized. It's like, well, how did we learn the language of the oppressor if we're so inferior? And we're working to death, they're, they're working us to death. When do we have time to learn about the language and also the Bible? It's because we have a history that they're, they're, they're misrepresenting. Somehow, the only reason why black people or so-called black people are anywhere around the world is because of the slave trade and the so-called light-skinned people they took us to various places and that's why we're there. And that's, that's a bold faced lie. And these people are liars and we have to expose their lies. Cause a lot of the things, if we confront them, a lot of things don't make sense and they'll be caught in their lies.
which is why they don't want to um, let the Africans speak about their own history. Because they do, but the thing is that it's just drowned out by their propaganda. So whenever these people say stuff about people that they don't like, they're going to misrepresent them. So <laughs> whenever you hear stories about the West not liking a particular group of people or a particular nation and stuff like that, you have to be skeptical about what they say, because most likely they are lying.